Hi guys, this is your last science video for the year. Um, uh, Tuesday, I'm sorry, Wednesday, uh, 517. Um, we're at the end of our lesson in our unit of um, natural resources. So we are on Sum It Up, page 352, okay? So let's see uh, how much we know of what we've learned or remember what we learned. Okay, so um, it says, read the summary statements below. Each one is incorrect. Change the part of the summary in blue that make, to make it correct. I'm on page 352, okay? So it looks like this. Okay. Number one, when we conserve resources, we use more of them. Now, we know conserve means to save. So it's actually the opposite. Most of these will be opposite. So what's the opposite of using something more of is using less of, okay? So when we conserve resources, we use less of them. Okay. Number two, turning on turning a two liter bottle into a planter shows that how waste can be recycled. Okay, um, turning a two liter bottle into a planter shows how waste can be recycled. Um, the key word here is waste. This is a, this is a little bit of a trick question. It can be recycled, but it shows how. Um, renewable resources can be recycled, okay? So turning a two liter bottle of planter shows how um, renewable resources can be recycled. Okay, and the difference between that is it's not waste, it's not garbage because that can't be recycled. So that wouldn't work. Zectric landscaping use non-native plants that require more water than other plants. Um, if you remember, that was the type of desert landscaping, um, uh, cactuses and things like rocks and stuff like that. So it's uh, not non-native plants that require more water. It has nothing to do with plants. It's the whole idea bef behind that type of landscaping is to use less water and less plants, okay? So xeric landscaping uses um, uh, less water and less uh, plants than other, or I'm sorry, than other plants. It uses, um, Less water than other plants, okay. Less, it uses non-native plants that re, that use less water. It does use non-native plants, okay. Sorry about that, I messed that up. Non, and non-native means it's not, doesn't have to necessarily come from the area that that landscaping is. That, ha like say you have a house, um, I don't know, in New Jersey, I mean, it probably wouldn't work. It would have to be something of the similar climate where it's coming from, but like, um, trying to think of a good example, but Arizona has a lot of um, cactus and cacti. Um, so if you lived in a similar environment, temperature wise, where a cactus could survive, you could have that type of landscaping. So it uses non-native, meaning it's not from that area, plants that require less water, than other plants, okay? Um, it's all right, if you can't, f I couldn't fit it, so if you need to uh, use the yellow space, use the yellow space, okay? On to number four. When farmers use contour farming, they plant a different crop in the same location every other year. Okay, so contour farming is they, um, use the natural landscape to um, 
save on um or I'm sorry, prevent the plants from being flooded, okay? It's a way that they use the natural landscape to prevent flooding and losing nutrients in the soil. So these are both examples of um, how farmers conserve natural resources, right? Um, uh, the, the different crop in the same location every other year, that's just, that's rotation uh, crop cropping, okay? Um, it's, that's still another way to save uh, on uh, natural resources. It's just they're two different uh, things. So contour farming is when you use the natural landscape to, and you plant your uh, trees accordingly to prevent flooding and, you know, obviously not lose that nutrients in the soil because if um, plants and plant soil gets flooded, water that nutrients washes away and then uh, plants can't grow there anymore. Okay, number five, to conserve energy resources, put your computer to sleep when you're not using it. Okay, energy resources, put your computer to sleep. Now, that's not going to, cons that might conserve your battery power, so it's good for your computer and good for your use, but to actually conserve the energy resources, what would be better? to unplug it, right? So, um, to conserve energy resources, unplug your computer when you are not using it, okay? Because you're still using, it's still using electricity. It may be using less electricity because you're not actively using the computer, but it's still nevertheless using um, energy. Okay, so we want to turn your computer off when you're not using it. That was a good one. I like that. You don't think about that a lot of times, including myself. I, you know, sometimes just put it to sleep and I don't think of that, how, how it could use energy, you know? Um, number six, water is a renewable resource so people can use as much as they want. Okay, um, it is a renewable resource. Um, they can't use as much as they want because some of it's polluted. So, um, however, I'm going to change it to however, some of it is undrinkable um, so people Cannot use all of it. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. All right. Uh, word play, I'm going to have you guys do by yourself. All you do is have to unscramble the word to complete each sentence. I think you guys could do that. Um, so, for example, number one, when something is blank, it is processed and then used to make something else. We already know what that is, right? That's what we we're talking about. What we talk about all the time. Reuse, um, recycle. Okay, so you could see recycle scrambled up. So I did that first one for you. So when we recycle, we it is processed and then we use to make it it's used to make something else. So use the definition to unscramble the word, okay? So you guys are gonna do the rest of those independently. And then apply concepts. List two ways that people can conserve water. For one answer, think of an example that is not in the text. Okay. 
Um, draw a room in your home. Label three ways you conserve the energy there. Tell, you what, tell what is being conserved in each picture. All right, I'm just gonna ha uh, do number four with you guys. Um, don't worry about number two and number three. I actually didn't mean for you guys to do this page. Um, but number four is, is useful. Um, tell what is being conserved in each picture, okay? You guys could do that on your own. What's being conserved in this picture? What's being conserved in this picture? And what's being conserved in this picture? Um, for the third one, might be you guys might have a little trouble with that. Um, because you see the light bulb is on, but remember that different type of light bulb, that new type of light bulb that we were talking about uses less, uh, energy. So it's a, called it something called an LED light. Okay. So that I'll, I'll give you guys that one LED light. Okay. So light is in electricity is being conserved. Okay. Okay, so this is a picture of an LED light and uh, the light and the electricity is being conserved. Okay, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that unit and it kind of um, made you think about of how important it is to conserve the things that we have. We don't have an unlimited number of resources or amount of resources and these are real problems, you know, like a lot of students ask, how is this, how am I ever going to need to know this? This is our world we live in. This stuff is very important. Um, and we're going to have to deal with it. And you guys, your generation is going to have to deal with it in years to come um, when there's more environmental problems. So hopefully you, some of you guys can solve those problems and we could keep our earth healthy. Okay. And use it for many years to come. And, um, make the most of the natural resources that we have and try to save and conserve uh, natural resources. Hope you guys enjoyed this unit and uh, enjoyed science this year and uh, have a great day and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow for your last video in social studies, okay? Bye guys, hope you enjoyed.